I want to tell you something. If you're getting your diabetes treated and they're doing things the old way, they're likely not getting the best results. So I'm going to tell you how diabetes used to be treated and how it's really being treated so you get the best out of your provider. The old way, insulin and glipizide. Glipizide is a drug that helps you reduce more insulin from your pancreas. It could be glipizide, prandin, glimepiride. These make you gain weight. They drop your sugar quickly. They make you uncomfortable. The best drugs on the market is the GLP-1, GLP, GIP, combination agonists like your Manjaro, Zepbound, Wagovi, Ozempic, or your SGLT2 inhibitors, Jardians, Farsiga. If you're still pricking your finger, you should be using continuous glucose monitor. Think Dexcom or Freestyle. Think about it. No one wants to think about having pain all the time. This you stick on, it lasts 10 to 14 days. Beautiful. Calorie counting and low-fat diets. This was big in the 80s. I don't know who was in charge of this. It's bullshit. If you're on a low-fat diet and you're always hungry, that could be why. People now, protein matters. We're eating sufficient amount of protein to support these muscles. Weightlifting two to four times a week will help support your muscles. Fiber, we know our gut is completely linked to our health. And when you're eating at least 25 grams of fiber a day, this will also prevent the spike and drop of your glucose. So make sure you're getting lots of fiber. We used to only do something called symptom management. If the sugar was high, we would give insulin to lower it. But now we're looking more at a root cause evaluation. That means really looking at why you became diabetic in the first place. So sometimes it's family history. Sometimes it's overeating these hyper processed, very hyper palatable foods that drove you to diabetes. Old and new way. Let's get into it.